when people have a typical asthma reaction they feel that they can't breathe and they feel a very significant chest tightness which is an unbearable feeling and if you just think about it you're just suffocating if you imagine how the lungs are there is a lining problem and when you have a trigger factor whether that is an intrinsic or an extrinsic that results in an acute asthma exacerbation that triggers involves the lining of the airway and hence you have mucosal thickening which also produces chemicals that causes uh, a bronchoconstriction bronco meaning airway and that constrict a second part of that problem is the muscle around that airway and patients with a very significant uncontrolled asthma you have very uh, significant thickening of that muscle which tends to contract whenever you are exposed to that allergens because of the mucosal uh, swelling as well as the other allergens and this dual process results in the airway becoming very very narrow when the narrowing occurs the patient feels that they can't breathe they are suffocating they are having very significant chest tightness and a lot of medication that we use is to either affect this two-tier system and hence decrease the bronchoconstriction and hence relieve the asthma symptom now we have this population of severe persistent asthma. How do we define severe persistent asthma? Our patients who've had, despite being on optimal therapy, has had relapses and has required two courses of steroids, two hospitalizations or two ER visits or even office visits for controlling their asthma. So this is at the fourth tier treatment and that's something that was not available before this and that's called bronchial thermoplasty. It is an interventional procedure which involves putting a scope which is a bronchoscope which has a camera at the end down the nose into the lungs and with that we have actually a small catheter that comes out and it goes and opens up in the distal airways and delivers a form of what we can say is a thermal uh, energy that's relieved, re uh, released at that time. And it causes the smooth muscle not to be able to contract. And then you have to do the sequential thermoplasty kind of in each and every airway. So it is a very long, and a very, very tedious process. But what it affects is, is, remember if we talked about one is the lining, so it does not affect the lining. It doesn't affect the mucosal response to the asthma, but it affects the second part, which is the most constraining part, which is the muscle contraction. And the muscle is unable to contract as a result of that. And we have published data, which is kind of unheard of, that is up to five years that shows that that therapy works more than 50% reduction in your hospital stays, in your ER visits, in your office visits, and the amount of steroids. Over here at Advocate Christ, we're not only doing the procedure, but we're doing this as a part and parcel of the whole asthma clinic. So we have dedicated staff that actually monitors and follows these patients in as well as outpatient so that they don't fall through the cracks and are able to follow through with it.